Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about zip function in Python function series. Zip function. We'll know why we have used zip function and what is it. Zip function is an inbuilt function. To take the transpose of a matrix. In our program, we have used this zip to take the transpose of the matrix. Now the second step, second thing we are going to learn is the arguments in the zip function. The list of lists, that is the matrix of list, the matrix, then We'll have the multiple list Then the third one is the return type. The return type of the zip would be the list of tuples. Technically, the iterators of tuple. Now let us consider an example. Now let us consider an example where we have this two lists. Now when we use the zip function, it will produce the list of tuples where we have 2, 10, 3, 20 and 5, 30 with number of rows and columns as 2 and 3. This is the list of tuples. Sorry, it is 20 and 5, comma 30. Now we'll have a quick overview of our zip function. So zip is an input function which takes the transpose of the matrix. The arguments are the list of lists and the multiple list, and the return time is the list of tuples, that is the iterators of tuple. So when we pass this to list, it will produce the list of tuples like 2, 10, and 3 and 20 and then 5 and 30. Now we are going to pass the multiple list as our arguments. Yeah, so multiple list as our arguments. So we are giving x and y the two lists and we are using the zip function zip equal to zip of x comma y. <coughs> so we have here we have used this asterisk so that it will unpack the elements and will print this is our, our output. Now if we don't use the asterisk, we'll get this output. So then our next case where we are going to pass the list of lists that is the matrix as our arguments. So the matrix we have given with the R come R cross C that is 2 and 3. We have 2 rows and 3 columns. Then we have used the zip function zip equal to zip of the asterisk matrix. Then we have print. Then we have print the zipped. So we have got the output where we have 1 and 4, 2 and 5, and 3 and 6. Now our original matrix is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our output will be like 1, 4, 2, 5 and 3, 6. So if you guys want to know more about this zip function, go through the Python documentation which is given in the description. 